The longer I am alive, the more I find that it is so easy to get a bang for your buck. When I first got started in music, I thought I had to have so much gear in order to do everything that I wanted. But now, all I need to play live and to record is just one piece of equipment. And for me, that's the Line 6 Firehawk FX pedal board. So today, we'll be talking about how you can take this very pedal board and get awesome recordings out of it. What is up, Yoshis? It is so good to see you. My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Descent. Today we're going to be talking about getting the most out of your Firehawk FX in terms of recording it. And the easiest, 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 and the reason I love this so much is that I can play it live on Sunday and then I bring it home the rest of the week and plug it into my computer and bam, it's an interface for my guitar. You plug in the cable to the USB side, you plug it into your computer, within Logic you go to Preferences, Audio, and then you set your preferred system for Firehawk FX as opposed to built-in output or any other thing you might be using. And from there, you just record, because it's taking that sound. I also like to use it for my headphones, which can get a little tricky in terms of keeping the levels so that I'm not overwhelming the metronome with my guitar, but having it all set so that my interface is just my pedal board, it really works out for me. And the thing I love so much about it is that the sounds of the Firehawk just sound great, run directly in. I don't feel like I need to worry about anything else. I just plug and play. Remember, user presets are always your friend when it comes to something like this, and that is why I think I enjoy the sound so much. Because modeling amps are tricky to get sounds that don't sound, you know, uber aggressively fake. And I also, playing mostly worship and or mostly metal, don't find that my tone is maybe as important as you think it should be. Let me know. What do you feel about modeling amps and how does that impact tone? So the next way you can run a line out and go directly into your computer is by plugging your guitar into the FX and using the XLR out. So I have an XLR to a quarter inch cable and I just plug that into either my interface or into an amplifier. Now if you're gonna plug into an amplifier or even an interface, you can also use the amp out and just use a quarter inch to quarter inch cable to do so before you throw it into your computer. And as long as you're using an interface, this will send a direct signal to your computer. Ha, huh, now why would I want to use a line instead of a USB? Great question <sighs> that I don't really have an answer for. Like realistically, that's what the USB thing is for. So you just send it through the USB and like then you record it and all of this other stuff works. I guess if your USB line doesn't work. And of course, if you're sending it to an amp, you're gonna need to make sure that you are miking the amp. So if you don't know how to do that, I do have a video from earlier on in the series that you can use to help you figure out how you would be miking your amp to get a great sound out of this. But yeah, the thing that I love about this pedal board so much is how easy it is to both sound great live and record on my computer. It's literally plug and play, especially once you set it to your preferred setup in Logic. And for as cheap as it is, it just sounds so good! I encourage you to go forth and make some music. And if you're looking for a great pedal board that also serves as an interface, I totally recommend the Line 6, and you can find links in the description below if you would like to get one for yourself. If you already have one though, let us know how long you've had yours and what your favorite thing about it is. If this video has helped you at all, it helps me if you give this video a like. If you're interested in learning more about home recording, you can feel free to subscribe because once a week I do publish a video about such a subject. You can check out the playlist of the previous videos here, and if you do subscribe, you will see a new video in your feed next week. And if you've made it this far, thank you so very much for watching.